Hi there, Joka here. A little bit later this month, but I am back with a new video for uh, Spa Binders. And first of all, Happy New Year. <laughs> and secondly, this is the large die kit of the month. And I will also show you something new um, in a little bit. So uh, this is the kit. As you can see, there is a lot of um, pieces and actually quite a big, quite big pieces. So you will see that these flowers are large, so you can easily cover card fronts. Um, this is the new thing that I was talking about. This is the um, 3D embossing folder of the month kit this month. This is a new uh, kit. There's a few new kits. I think there's a stitching uh, monthly kit. And I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting. But in any case, this is the only one I will be um, working with. As in, I still will do the large and the small die kit. And in addition, also the 3D embossing folders. But I'm going to probably use them with the large and the um, small die kit. Um, anyway, what I was saying, uh, you can see that the flowers are really large and you can cover the um cards really fast with this so um which i think it's a good thing right um but of course you know me if if something doesn't take so long then i feel like i didn't do my best if that makes uh sense normally my projects take ages and that's how i like it too so when it's a bit quicker <laughs> i feel like i didn't finish something or I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, um, so these flowers come together um, from just a few pieces. And of course, you can mix and match. Uh, some of them I layered up just for more dimension, like this one. Uh, you can just use one layer. Um, and again, there's pieces in here that you can use uh, differently. For example, there's that uh, berry uh, branch that you can create some berries with or you can also use the, uh, those little flowers with it. I will show you both ways. I love them both ways. I always like these uh, branches. You can add a lot of color and um, I don't know. It's just they are just fun and uh, cute. So my um, idea, well, I don't even think it was an idea. Simply I did not know what colors I want to use. So I just kind of pulled out uh, something from the pink range, something from the purple, something from the yellow, you know, just uh, whatever was next to me, uh, a bunch of different colors. And um, then, of course, the background was kind of, well, it wasn't very difficult. I don't have a whole lot of options, but uh, I very rarely pick white. Not that I don't like white cards, but for some reason, it's just never my choice. I feel like it's too clean for me, I think. Um, so I went with the Newt uh, cardstock from, I think it is, no, sorry. <laughs> it's the same letters, but it's not Newt, it's Dune um, from Spabinders. And I barely have any left. I really like this uh, cardstock. And I embossed this uh, beautiful panel. And again, I forgot to say this time, but I always mention you have to use water. You have to spray it on the cardstock with these 3D embossing folders. Otherwise, the paper will break um, or tear. And my cards today are 5 by 7 inches. Lately, it seems like that's the only... Um, size that I like although I think my um, small die kit video the the cards are a2 size as far as I remember uh, anyway so what I did here again uh, I just die cut a bunch of flowers no rhyme or reason um, and then I I'm starting to kind of uh, put them around that arch in the middle or window arch I think it's an arch um, and then you know just whatever looks 
good to my eyes and I'm trying to use each color um, in, in, the, in these clusters. And then I will uh, add some, at this point I actually don't know what uh, sentiment I wanted, but uh, now I decided this one is from the advent calendar, day 16. And then the other part of the sentiment will be a sentiment strip from the small die kit of the month this month, which is a really cool kit. And so I die cut the letters for you and three layers, about three times uh, each letter, and then I layer them up so I have some dimension. I much prefer to do this to using foam, um, not only because I, I don't know, I can't die cut them nicely and also I, I don't trust glue on foam so I'd rather just take some extra time and uh, use cardstock. And then once I figured out the arrangement of my uh, flowers, I'm uh, starting to glue down everything. And I actually really like how this turns out. Um, even though I was really scared of the large flowers, it's actually, it's funny, you know, because <laughs> when there's a lot of uh, small flowers and I have to die cut them a hundred million times, of course it takes ages. But I still, I, I like to do it. But that's something I do a lot. But large flowers, I don't think I do very often. And then I die cut them once, you know. And I was like, oh my God, this already covers my <laughs> cardstock. What am I going to do? I don't have to die cut more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, these are quicker projects than normal. But I do like um, the way they turn out. And, yeah, there's not much else I can say about this. Uh, the only flower I did die cut uh, as an extra because I did not like the color that I chose first was the one that is white here next, well, what I just glued down. I die cut that from yellow first, but I, I don't know. I did not like that much yellow on my uh, project. I like them in the smaller you know, accents or like the flower centers or the smaller flowers. Um, so that one I actually did die cut again. And then I'm adding a few enamel dots um, for centers for just uh, a bit more texture. And then here I cut off one of the leaves because I felt like it was uh, not in the right spot. <laughs> so now I find another um, spot for it. And then it's almost done. I'm just going to glue down my sentiment and then I will set this card aside. I At this point I considered it done, but then later on I will add something to it once I'm done with the second card as well. And uh, this for the second card, I'm going to use a different uh, embossing folder. This is not a 3D embossing folder. And I think it was part of uh, one of the Christmas collections uh, last summer. Oh, it's so weird to say last summer, right? I mean, a couple of days ago, it was still 2022. <laughs> um, anyway, for this one, you don't need to use water. This, this one will emboss just fine without damaging the paper. And then I use this just so that I have a, you know, a, a little bit of um, variation. I did not want to have two cards with the same embossing folder. I, I thought that they would just look too similar. And in this case, I'm, I'm just partially embossing it so that I have a strip at the bottom for my sentiment. And then I will just build a cluster of flowers here at the top. This is really something I love to do. And again, these are large cards, so you know you can use a lot of a lot of uh, 
flowers. Uh, I don't know why I, I, I really love this format, maybe because it's a larger canvas. Uh, you can um, do more with it, I think. Anyway, that's, that's about what I want with this card. Um, and then I'm starting to glue everything down. Um, sometimes I use a little um, foam, like a 3D foam for the smaller flowers just to pop them up. Um, but nothing complex about this or, you know, special even. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention actually at the beginning of the video, but you know, there's always so many things to mention. Um, I did get all your messages. Um, right now I haven't answered a lot, <laughs> but maybe by the time I post the video, I actually managed to answer most of them. Uh, I really appreciate you reaching out all the supportive words. Um, the last surgery went well, um, as well. And the pathology, pathology results came back, um, negative for cancer for now. Um, but this is the tumor that I have is one that grows uh, back often. However, this is still good news. Um, for now, I have to go for a procedure every three months um, for five years to monitor, um, you know, the situation. And if there's nothing else, then hopefully that's the end of the story. That, that is my hope, but, you know. So I know a lot of you have the same fears, the same, uh, this, this disease is everywhere. Um, so I know a lot of you go, are going through this now or went through this in the past. Just know that I think of you all. Uh, I know what you're going through and um, I'm sending you hugs and positive vibes. Just hang in there. Um, there's hope. <laughs> Always. Um, okay, so that I just wanted to mention that it meant a lot for me. Uh, all, all your kindness, really, without even knowing me. Um, all those supportive words just mean a lot more than you ever than you will ever know. Anyway, uh, back to the projects. Um, so I wanted to add a bit longer um sentiment actually so like a sub sentiment but then i didn't find a spot for it that i liked i mean i didn't hate either version but then in the end i just uh went with this and it's it's again the same uh die set as the as on the previous card and also the same i used it the same way i just uh i cut the letters like three times and then layer them up. And now what I'm going to add is a little bit of acrylic paint. I uh, diluted it with water and I'm just um, adding some splatters. So I have some white accent on the background. And then that's it. Then the cards are done. I hope you um, enjoy this. I apologize that it was a bit later this month. Uh, there's a <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit uh, late with everything. Um, I also have an upcoming release myself and I haven't even been able to open my uh, new shipment. So yeah, there's a lot <laughs> on my desk at the moment. But I hope this helps. Uh, I hope you love the kids as much as I do. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Really, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, have a very, very a nice week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.